Hi guys, it's Inam Kafour here with the Galaxy S3 smartphone and we're going to take a look at how to reset the binary flash counter on your device and for those of you who don't already know, this is basically a counter which keeps track of every time you flashed your phone so if you flashed multiple ROMs it keeps a note of every time you flashed the ROM thus voiding the warranty if you send it back to the manufacturer they'll know how many times you flashed it and you can see how many times you flashed it by if we just power up the phone first of all so once the phone's powered off all you do is get into download mode and that's just there you go phone's now off so volume down power and home button holding those down simultaneously until you get to the download menu and then volume up to continue as it says there now if I bring that in it says under Odin mode product name and the code or the model number of the S3 custom binary download a yes one counts that means I've modified the ROM and flashed it once making it null and void for warranty purposes current binary is custom system status is custom now if that was original Samsung uh, ROMs that would say Samsung original it wouldn't say custom at all so if for whatever reason this had to go back to the manufacturer they'll know that I've been playing around with stuff I shouldn't be playing around with so basically to come out of this just power the phone off hold that down till it switches off and once that's off just switch it back on again there you go now what we're going to do is download an app from the Google Play Store called Root Triangle Away and this is by Chainfire who's an XDA developer he produces a lot of the ROMs and the routing information that we already use so once that goes in all you need to do is go to the Play Store once that loads just type in um, triangle away and it then brings it up the top one so it's called root triangle away by chain fire it costs one pound ninety nine p uh, here in the UK so a couple of bucks or so in the, in the states so once you've just download it install it it's not very big at all if it asks for additional content to be downloaded then just hit yes to download it you may need a plugin of some sort but click yes to it it's fine uh, as I've already got it installed I'm just gonna hit open and as you can see there it says triangle away please confirm your device's exact model being the GT i9 300 and it is and it says if you continue and this is not your device you will break your phone so pretty straightforward instructions there so if you screw this up it's, you've only got yourself to blame and obviously myself or Samsung don't take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong in this process this video is purely for informational purposes so I'm just going to hit continue there now it gives you uh, pretty much information there about the version number there and you takes you to the website if you hit the top one whoops come straight out confirm it again and gives you apps that Chainfire also has on the Play Store uh, you can follow Chainfire on Twitter or Google Plus current status it mentions there status cannot be determined we need to reboot into a special boot mode which is the download mode that we've just been into so the final one that we're interested in is reset flash counter we need to reboot into a special boot mode for this you will be asked to co confirm before data is overwritten so that's what we want to do and then it says danger this is dangerous operation that could potentially break your device continue to your own risk are you sure you want to continue yes I'm sure it's just going to go through as you can see there rebooting the device well it takes us to the boot menu and along the top it says triangle away device GT hyphen i 9300 so the Galaxy S3 flash counter 1 binary status custom as we saw in the download menu there once is the amount of times that I've flashed this device press volume up to reset counter and status press volume down to reboot so volume up simple as resetting counter and status and then it's now rebooting shouldn't take too long at all this phone reboots pretty quick as the phone's loaded up there what we're going to do is just power it straight off again just to get into download mode to show to see rather if uh, the counter has actually been reset again volume down button power button and the home button simultaneously held down till it gets to download mode press volume up to continue the warning and if I bring that in you can see in Odin mode in the corner it says product name GT R9 300 custom binary download no which means I haven't modified the firmware from the original Samsung one 
current binary Samsung official and system status official so it looks like I haven't messed with the phone and this is all as it came out of the factory so if this were to go back to the manufacturer they would think that I haven't messed around with it at all and it is how it is now I'll just go back into boot mode just to see if everything root works and I'll try an application just to make sure that it works okay something like um, I don't know titanium backup that uses root that will be I'll test it with that wicked so the phone's now up so just go back into it um, titanium backup is a good one to check with because it asks for root access there you go so it's asking for a root access and that's done as you can see there so there you go that's working fine so that's how you reset the binary flash counter on your Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw and you like this video and you want to see future videos like this. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything and you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching, have a good day and we'll see you next time.